Manchester City who you have to say Rio largely threw it away? I'm, I'm stunned really. I think um, we spoke about the game beforehand um, and City being overwhelming favourites uh, given the, the standard of player they have in their squad. But they never performed today. I think we spoke about it at half time. Pep Guardiola tinkering with his, his yep. formation, tinkering with the players. He has to take a bit of responsibility yeah. for that, doesn't uh, he? Uh, I mean, he's played a system that, that a lot of them are not used to. I think so. And the most creative players were off the pitch. Yeah. And we saw when Mares came on, they looked a much better team. One creative player out of the, the probably three or four that you'd normally see in and around the starting 11. But then, I mean, listen, Raheem Sterling yeah. and Edison are going to get their headlines for, the, for the, the mistakes that they made. But Jesus as well, before that, when they were on top 1-1, a big chance. Yeah. Um, not much went for them today, but I think this, they have to look at themselves more than anything. Heartbreaking night uh, for Manchester City and their supporters. Uh, yeah, definitely. But um, I don't think we can get away from the fact, I think Rio said it during the game, um, Leon have done fantastic tonight mm. and they didn't look rattled. They, they knew what Manchester City were, mm. uh, were going to do. They knew how they were going to try and hurt them and they looked comfortable in it. Um, and yeah, they pulled off a great result. OK, uh, well, that's the quarter-finals done. They, uh, and it's um, Leon Bayern on Wednesday. And uh, both those games, of course, will be exclusively live here on BT Sport. Um, can't do it, can they? No, it's, a cruel, it's been a cruel competition to them mm. in recent years. And today was no different. And we see the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the second goal was, was I mean, yeah. we spoke about Kamikaze defending yesterday. Today, again, we've, we spoke about the one in the first half that City conceded. This one's even worse because it's so much more glaring. The ball turns over. Once that ball turns over, Garcia, who's the last man, he's the only man, he's the only defender in his half. He immediately feels he needs to engage with Dembele there. And the moment he does that, that gives these guys the impetus to start making runs forward and getting into, getting into the, the, the City half. He goes and engages. Once he makes that decision to go, then it's all about being a foot race. And you see as I play it there, right now, there's not one player in City's half. Look at all this space. Come on. That is, Imagine you playing in that against that. I, That's I like dream about dream playing world. against yeah? defenders that do that. It's and like for a striker's dream. And for a defender to evacuate that space and allow there to then be a foot race and to say, right, look, go on. If you play in there, you've got a chance to get in there. There's no security kind of thinking at all. It's amateurish. Exactly. And then you see the ball goes through. And we can discuss whether it's a foul or not, but it shouldn't get to this point. It shouldn't get there. If Garcia stays in his position, he sees that out. The ball probably doesn't even get played straight through there. Uh, you, Joe, if you want to talk about whether you think that's a foul or not, it, uh, disgraceful defense. Well, let's have a look at it. VAR had a look at it um, for quite some time, and they decided that it obviously wasn't a clear and obvious mistake in their view. But, I mean, it's, it's as, as Peter Walton said in the, in the commentary, it, it, he thought it was obviously massively influential in the goal. Yeah, well, it's, it's not intentional. I, I think that's clear. No, but, but if it, there's definitely we, a we see of penalties given for that all the time yeah. by VAR in the box when a player goes down and he's accidentally tripped like that. But they give that generally nowadays. That's in the modern game. So it sh surely it should have been a foul. So the, does it then go with the, the referee's decision? Is he saying he saw it? Well, they're obviously not thought it was a clear and obvious error, which, which you can understand. But they, there's no consistency, is there, with VAR? It's good to see that they're equally inconsistent with it uh, in Europe as they are in the Premier League. I, I, I've got to say, if I'm on that pitch, I think that's a definite foul. It's yeah. got to be. Yeah. He's, he's, they've connect, they've he's, connected there. And he's it? the one who's gone on to score. Yeah, exactly. Let's have another look. because uh, And this is important because obviously the game was balanced at that point. Well, City it's were one, one for all the bad defending. It's a Joe's right, City were dominating at that there's point. The, there is, there's there is the contact there on his foot. 100% contact. Yeah. I don't understand how they can't call that. And there's yeah. going to be people saying conspiracy theories now if you're a City fan, etc. Well, of course. But you know. I believe that's a foul there. And the man goes on to score the goal as well. I mean, yep. Dembele, we've not even spoke about him yet, but he was someone who, who went 22 goals and then yeah. sub. Top yeah. goal scorer in their team and then sub and then comes on and does that. Two. Two yeah. goals. Yeah. Phenomenal. Uh, it, it really was. Um, between the two goals, though, City should have pulled it back. I mean, wow. Raheem Sterling, who, who was probably City's best player, along with probably De Bruyne in the second yeah, half. Well, what he'd done for the, for the goal, his yeah. movement was, was fantastic. But even here, this is where we've seen him countless times this season, in between the sticks, yeah. making runs, elusive. Oh. But here, I mean, Gary, how do you miss that? You tell me, <laughs> you're a striker. No, I, I'll tell you how, why he missed it, because he's tried to hit it too hard. When, when you're in that position there where you know you've got an open goal, the only way you can miss it is putting your foot through it. Mm. And if there is a slight bobble, it, there is a chance that it will go over the bar. All you've got to do is let it hit your foot 
Mm. Take your weight off it. Like a stab bit, like, like stun almost it, stun just it. a little stab. Just keep your knee over the ball, and then it can't go up. You can miss hit it, miss cue it, and it, it'll still go in. He, it's, it's almost like he's trying to hit it with a little bit of force. There's obviously been a little bit of a lift of the ball, little bobble, and then it's missable. Wow. But if you just take the weight off it, you can't miss. But and if he's going to put I mean, your money on anyone to score, oh, there, I know. Yeah. it's him. He's it the was, man you put your money on. It does jump up off the ground fractionally, so that's why. Do you think the cover and defender kind of got in his head a little bit and he, f he saw him potentially making a big block and he thought, I have to, I don't I have know. to bury he did, this? He looked like he was in, in the perfect position to hit it, but um, he's, he's going to not sleep very well tonight. He won't. Raheem Sterling. Um, but then 3-1, then well, it's just... Less than a minute after that chance, yep. they went at the other end. And this time, uh, uh, Joe, I know you're goalkeeper's union, but this is a howler, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it's the, the situation of the game. You know, if this, if this is a good shot, a, a well-struck shot that he doesn't have to um, think about, he saves it. But I think he's already throwing it out. He's already kicking it. Yeah. You know, it, it's... Concentration, do you think? It, it's des it's say. desperation. And, yeah. you know, it, obviously, you know, you know, you speak to Edison... He's going to tell you we should do better, but it's it's the situation of the game and City at at one one they were they were we all thought here we go you know made the change uh, Riyad came on City looked really good and then they're flustered they're flustered with the way they gave away the second and this is just the whole the whole team's head's gone here. I'll like, tell you what, sorry I'll tell you one thing on. I did every single game we've watched this week this round of football yeah. this new format of one game the substitutes have had impact. Yeah. It's so important now, yeah. and, and now more than ever, it seems yeah. that the, the squad, the depth in your squad on that bench is of yeah. huge importance. Cause Therefore, that again. leads to an obvious question. What about Pep's substitute? He only brought like, Mares on really to change things. Mm. And uh, these, you know, these little geniuses or, you know, the playmakers, mm. he left a lot of them on the sidelines. He played a negative game by, in terms of how he normally plays this evening, certainly in his starting lineup. Did he mess it up tonight? I think he's going to have to have a look at himself in terms of his mm. team selection, yes, and, and the way he changed his formation. I mean, even, for instance, Cancelo playing left back, how many times the ball came out there when he came back on his right foot? Mm. And getting behind teams is what Pep's about overloads in wide areas and getting behind teams. And in them areas behind the two wing backs were perfect opportunities probably to get behind them. But you need creative players to draw people out, create space for runners to then get in. And they definitely really, they didn't do it enough no. this game, definitely. We'll talk about that in, in greater detail shortly. But um, interesting there, he said himself, uh, it, the first half we weren't very good. Um, we, sh we, didn't, we, we should be more offensive normally and play like we normally do. And that's, that's very true, isn't it? They weren't their normal selves. They had a different lineup, a slightly negative lineup. Yeah, it wasn't... That, that might have been brought played. on from previous games at this stage. They've, they've come across at this stage in the last, last couple of years. So maybe Pep's thought about that and thought, I need to be maybe yeah. a bit more conservative, not as expansive. But you see that there's frustration there in an interview. And I'm sure when, the, as a t you know what you're like when you're a player in a change room and you, you don't see the names on a team sheet that you expect to see yeah. or that you're accustomed to always seeing. It does uh, send a little bit of... Have you had that? In, yeah, it, it did. Uh, we had it against Bayern Munich and, yeah. I mean... Uh, Darren Gibson won't thank me for saying it, but he was a young yeah. player yeah. and not one of the players that you expected to play in that game. He, he starts the game and everyone's looking around like, well, to be fair, he went out and scored a goal, but yeah. we ended up, we didn't get through in the end, I don't think. But it's more about when you watch that team today and we talk about Man City yeah. and we, we give them the credit and we yeah. sit here and we speak, oh, how good they were, etc. It's always about the offensive side of the yeah. game and about the imagination, about the creativity. All of that was on the bench today. Yeah. And then Mares, other than Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. but then, then Mares comes on and the whole look of the game changes from Man City's point of view. If, if you're a Leon player and you, you, you get the team sheet Delighted. an hour before, I was going to say, and you, you go, wow, the, neither the, neither Silvers, no Mares, no Foden. No, no, they've got great players all the way, but and a different kind of system that they don't normally play. You'd sorry, pleased, sorry, you? sorry, Joe. As, de as a defender, yeah. I see the name, no disrespect to anyone on there, but in t I'm sitting there and going, well, I know... I've got a really good idea of what Raheem does because he likes to run in behind. I've got yeah. a good idea of what Jesus was. He wants the ball to, to just in behind around the corners to feet. I can really pick at the players other than Kevin De Bruyne and say, I really, I've got an idea of what they're doing. The players that give you the, a bit of nerves as well, the players that are a little bit unpredictable that in the, the, the two silvers, mm. Mares, Foden, that's, uh, that unpredictability brings a little bit of nervousness and actually I've got to take a step back maybe. Yeah. I didn't see that in the yeah. first team that I saw out there yeah. enough. Yeah.
I mean, you know him, yeah, obviously. Um, he, he, he he does outthink himself sometimes, I think. Um, I mean, genius though he obviously yeah. is in many ways in the coaching aspects, and he's he's unbelievably successful. But I've I've played with coaches too. Like Cruyff was very similar in the sense that sometimes you used to think, is he doing this just to maybe look good if it works? It's hard to say, isn't it? Obviously, you know, whatever we're going to say about him, he backs a lot of what he does up with medals. Mm. Um, that's what City want. That's what City brought him in for. It was to win the yeah. Champions League, yeah. and and it's not easy, you know. No, it's, not. it's a it. knockout competition. Mm. You've done it. it. You've done it. Sorry, it's it's really not an easy thing to do. No. And I just think tonight, like we say, maybe tried to maybe tried to go too far with thinking about being too conservative. I think I think the point about Cancelo and Mendy. I just think Liam was so compact and so heavy and strong in the middle, and the guys like Dene, they defended really well. Mm. It needed it needed a different approach, and um, and it was probably too late when it came. Yeah. Perhaps we should give Leon more more credit. I well, think we they definitely they deserve, were, yeah. they deserve yeah. huge they credit. They deserve massive credit. Really proud of what they did. Okay, uh, let's take a breather. Um, after that uh, breather, we'll hope to hear from um, Pep Guardiola. A calamitous night for Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. Here he is with Des Kelly. Pep, you must feel this competition is brutal to you at the moment. In recent years, it's been pretty cruel to you. This competition. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. So one day we'll break this uh, this gap, you know, to to quarterfinals. Uh, except the first 20-25 minutes that we struggle to to find our our uh, our spaces to attack them more fluidly. And after the players they feel free. And the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes, first half was good. The second half was was uh, yeah, it was okay. We were there. We were. I had the feeling we were better. But uh, you know. Some, you have to be perfect in these competitions in one game, and uh, and we didn't. But what did you make of the second goal? Because there was a VR, VAR verdict. There was no offside, they say, but they didn't give the foul on Laporte either. What, what did you make of it? I don't know. It's, you seem to get VAR all the time. So. I know. You know that it's, it's not. I don't want. Honestly, I don't want to talk about uh, these the circumstances. Sometimes, you know. I don't want to talk. It looks like uh, I'm complaining or I'm uh, finding excuses. So we are out. So I had the feeling that we are incredible ready. So uh, we did a lot of good things, but at the end it was not enough. So we make mistakes in the boxes in the key moments, and and that's why we are out. You warned us that Leon were tough, but did you give them a little bit too much respect in the first half? You changed the shape. Did, did that work? No. When when we have done is is is. Uh, is try to cover our weak points in in comparing with uh, his strength points like they attack incredible well to the channels with two and two and i didn't want to leave them for the build up it was better and uh, and that's why so the first 50 20 minutes the first half was magnificent so we un unblock a little bit our our you know respect a little bit or we were struggle to find our spaces to attack and in the same shape we play incredible good the first last 15 minutes in the first five ten minutes what you want in the second and have is put one more player there and um, you know we create chances we score a, a magnificent goal but unfortunately we miss another ones and and and, and back so we can see two more goals and there was that crucial 59 seconds where Raheem just missed the chance and then obviously it goes down this, there I think this is a resume this competition this competition is that that situation. No, you have to equalize and go to extra time on the last minute. And after we we concede the third goal, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's this competition. You have to be perfect. Uh, you can make mistakes, especially behind. The first goal is a frontal ball. You have to solve it better. And um, and yeah, we create more chances, more shoots. I, I guess I didn't see the statistics, but I think it's happened. So we did everything, but unfortunately, we are out again. And so you have to try again, try again until it happens with Manchester City. Uh, yeah, so we can do. Now I'm disappointed. Now you have to go to holidays. We are coming back soon. Uh, lift the players again, the club again, and and continue. Yeah, of course. Uh, sometimes you need to break. You know this. I know once with Manuel, they arrived in semi-finals, and I think the team, the team we have done in the last years, deserve it. But you have to win, and we we could not do it, and that's why maybe one day we'll break this 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 gap, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.
Mo's open and honest and explain why he made his, his decisions. Um, obviously, think, it's always easy after the event. Yeah, I think but his ex explanations as to why he went to three at the back because he's, he didn't feel he had two centre-backs yeah. who would be able to deal with the two centre-forwards of Leon. But did they have um, three centre-backs that could deal with playing that way? No. I mean, uh, the, the, the high line was suicidal. Um, it was the, at the crux of, of their downfall, really, in terms of the mistakes made that led to goals. Um, and mistakes in both boxes. Misses, glaring misses at one end, and then indecision, um, naivety at the other. So, I, I suppose in, in, in some ways, Joe, there's, there's a danger, isn't it, that the longer it goes without winning it, the harder it becomes. And the, the kind of mindset gets a little bit in the psyche of whether you're jinxed or whatever it is. Yeah, it does. And I think tonight, I think, I think City genuinely genuinely believe that that didn't exist mm. but after this you know it's, it's going to be it's going to be a hard one to recover from this yeah, tonight. and things really didn't go for them i think it's you know quite clear they've been unlucky with the the goal that ultimately led to the victory let's have another look at the var i think we found a different uh, camera angle that shows perhaps that the referee was on the brink of blowing his whistle there look look he's mm. gone to his mouth yeah but he didn't. And, and he's changed critical, his mind. That's the critical yeah. part, that he didn't. He... Unless his whistle stopped working. Maybe the <laughs> pee came out of it. But I, I, this, this, goal, uh, this goal, I thought was a foul. Joe, I, I, I felt he, he, there, was, there was contact. Yeah. And if there's contact, you've yeah. got to call the foul. And we've yeah. got bar now. Well, we've seen penalties given for that all the time now. I think City have been unlucky. It's, yeah. it's hard to call it, like, when you... The statement of it being a foul, like... It's just a clash of legs, really. So. Yeah, I know, but in the modern game, that is given as a foul. We've seen it hundreds of times. Yeah, I know, it, it, I know. My, but certainly my day, it wouldn't have been. But, but then you go back to the, at the other end. You take, about, take away all that doubt and all that questioning yeah. if you put the ball in the back of the net at the other end, and that didn't happen today. They had opportunity. Jesus had a great opportunity yeah, when they were, they were the team on top at 1-1, yeah. mm. missed it, and Raheem as well. And it's, it's, it's just, if you're going to get over the line in these situations, you have to be clinical. Yeah. And this will definitely have hangover, I'm sure. And they've got a lot of soul searching, probably looking at looking at yeah. each other and thinking, now dust ourselves down. Not only in the Champions League, but domestically, they've got to come again. Yeah. Mm. There's the, the question marks against them. If you want to get the stature of a football club that they're aiming to be, if they want to be one of the giants, mm. you've got to win this competition, haven't you? At some point. Yes, you have to. You yeah. have to get your hands on this trophy to be deemed one of the top clubs in Europe. And I think at the moment they're searching for that. They're yeah. searching for that status. Um, the owners, you can see, have invested heavily, not only in the club, but in the infrastructure around the club, which has been fantastic for them. Joe's been yeah. a huge part there's, of that. There's, yeah. there's a touch of PSG about it, isn't there? It's the same kind of the thing. PSG is still it, in it. Hmm? They're still, still in it in now, it, yeah. but obviously they've, got, mm. they've kind of broken the back of it eventually after all these years of, mm. of failing in quarterfinals and last 16, etc. Um, you've got to keep believing, I guess, is the important thing. 100%, and they will go into next year's competition, yeah. one of the favourites, because... They do deserve that because on paper and how they play is good enough to beat any team in the world. But these critical moments, um, this one turning into a one-leg affair, you know, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see anything other than the City win yeah. tonight. I know we're showing it in the UK, but we, we should probably talk a little bit about Leon. Um, mm. You know, they had a game plan, they knew what they were doing and they worked it out brilliantly and, and they've gone through. I'm sure they'll play the same way against Bayern Munich. Yeah. But and a big factor in that is one team changed to play to accommodate the other. One team played the way they've played all season. Yeah. And Leon done that and they went through. Yeah. And you have to give them huge credit. Bayern won't they change, it. will they? Bayern won't change, they'll play a high line. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they'll score. But yeah. they'll score. Uh, listen, to Leon, I think will be, they'll, they'll make it tough for Bayern, but I think they'll have yeah. a bit too much Bayern. Yeah, who won the other semi-final, do you think? PSG would be Leipzig, Leipzig's favourites. Leipzig really know what they're doing, don't yeah. they? They really do. And PSG can... They can fall apart as well with all the quality that they've got. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting watch. I think the one-legged thing, is that there's more unpredictability about it, isn't there? It's added it's something to it, isn't it? I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I think it's been brilliant. I yeah. think it adds that a little bit of excitement. It's a, it's a, it's a, a shootout almost on for the, for the, for yeah. the full 90 minutes. And the, the players, the team seem to enjoy it. And it gives it that... Again, it takes away that conservative like an international edge. summer competition in, mm. in some ways, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I mean, whether the powers that be determine, uh, think that this is the right way to go forward because it means less games. Maybe they bring more games at group stages and then leave the, the last 16 to knockouts. So we'll have to wait and see. If they uh, want me on the panel to decide, I'm I, here. I think they'll do too late. <laughs> so television revenue is probably quite important to I'd them. But so. um, anyway, let's hear from Kevin De Bruyne. He's with Des Kelly. Kevin, that's heartbreaking tonight, isn't it? Yeah, uh, different year, same stuff. I um, think first half wasn't good enough. I uh, think we know that. We started 
slow. Uh, we had not many options, but I think second half we played really, really well. We come back 1-1, one, one. we had a couple of chances, and then uh, obviously, uh, yeah, the 2-1 and the 3-1 uh, ends the game, and uh, yeah, it's a shame for us to, to go in that way. The 2 one is important because VAR didn't give offside, but it also didn't give a foul on the court. Have you had a chance to talk about it? What's the reaction? I have no idea. I've not seen it back, so uh, whatever, whatever they decide, they decide. You know, um, I'm not. I'm not going to blame blame that. I think we we should have done better, but I have to look back to see whatever whatever it was. Is it all the more painful because you got back on terms and you started to play like Manchester City we expected? Well, I think the second half we played well. I think we had them under pressure. We played more offensive uh, like we normally do, and I think we had them. And uh, their keeper made a few saves, and even at the 2-1, you know, if Ras scores the goal, it's 2-2, and uh, the game goes on. But that, that's football. It's that fine margin that made the difference, and they made the 3-1, and you know it's over. Yeah, that late miss, and then to go straight down the other end, 59 seconds later, the game's finished. I mean, that's, that's the cruelty of this competition, because the game was opening up then. You were yeah, it. the game was open, uh, but I think they didn't really create, except the two goals, the chances. But yeah, we need to learn, man. Uh, it's not 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 good enough, and um, that's it. They're the kind of side that you knew. If they took the lead, they just sit and soak it up, and like they did against Juventus. Did you need to create more? Put them under pressure more. Well, I think first half, yes. I think second half, we created enough to, to score score enough goals. So, um, you know, is that uh, that difference of uh, scoring and not scoring that that makes it? And uh, we did, we we didn't do enough today. All you can do is go again next year. Well, uh, it's it's time to go home. It's been a long season. Uh, I need to go back home because my wife is expecting any moment, so I, I've got something to focus on personally, but uh, yeah, it's hard. Thanks. Thank you.